second time like like we should do it. Hey, it's Guidi here um, with another episode of Flight Update. A little late on Monday night because I was a little bit very... I'm busy this weekend, but, but we're back and so that's cool. And I'm bringing some cool video game news and sci-fi news. But before we start, make sure you hit that like button the subscribe button and then the notification bell that sends you very annoying emails about the things that people are uploading which I definitely ignore. Anyways let's start off with some pretty quick headlines. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy the video game is out and has received some pretty dope reviews from a lot of places including The Verge calling it a damn good superhero video game. Um, it's unrelated to the movie or even canon comic book stuff but it comes in to prove that dope Linear single player story is enough to make an amazing game. Not every game needs to be open world. This week, Square Enix also launched a story trailer for Triangle Strategy, a strategy based tactical RPG that brings back memories from the PS1 and Game Boy Advance artfully addictive Final Fantasy Tactics series. In this story based trailer, it shows and talks about three nations battling for control over dwindling resources of salt and iron. Um, it's a very typical fantasy story. As a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance fan, I'm looking for its release in March 4th of 2022. In other news, a new platform fighter is allegedly coming on its way with characters like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, Tom and Jerry, Fred Flintstone, Giant Bravo, and a ton more characters. Nickelodeon just released their own platform fighter a few weeks ago with mixed reviews and a really weird lack of voice acting. But, it seems like the platform fighter genre is going to be banking on the fact that Sakurai is stepping back a little from the Smash Bros. series. Smash Bros. series. Now on to some pretty big news. Halo Infinite's trailer dropped last Monday. It looks pretty amazing. It looks to be an open world game, which is drawing comparisons to Far Cry. Um, the multiplayer and the campaign version are coming out December 8th. And I'm eventually buying an Xbox to play Starfield, so I might as well check this out. But Starfield's coming in like 2022 or whatever, so I'm not really pressed. But but the trailer's dope, and I'm showing you images of it right now that you should be looking at. Following the success of The Mandalorian, Disney and Star Wars just released the first teaser for Book of Boba Fett, a spin-off that seems to be set in the same time frame as The Mandalorian, and from the looks of it, it's again showing us the nitty-gritty details of life in the Star Wars galaxy. Um, in this case, Tatooine's underworld following Jabba the Hutt's successor. As a sci-fi fan, this is really exciting because it shows, uh, dare I say, more Star Wars than the actual Star Wars movies, so more of a, an actual life of people in the, in the systems. And, and, and they, they, they explore the reality of life in the, in the galaxy in the aftermath of a political war that changed people's lives without focusing on the macro of, of the war itself and its boring Holy Family story arc. Sorry about that, um, but, but it launches on Disney Plus on December 29th. Now, bear with me as I saved the downers for last, but Nintendo Switch Online Service just got ex its expansion in a few days ago. Um, it's very expensive for $50 a year to play Nintendo 64 and some Sega Genesis titles, and it seems like most people are pretty pissed that it j just sucks. Like, there's just better emulation somewhere else and Nintendo really dropped the ball on this one. So here's a comparison of the Wii version and the Switch version. And you can see here that even water reflection is fucked up in the emulation. We're hoping that Nintendo fixes these kind of things. There's also a lot of complaints about the button mapping being weird, but that kind of makes sense since like they're selling their own controller. Um, but anyways, I hope that's fixed. And then another huge downer, State of Play was pretty not great, um, except for the Star Ocean trailer and the new King of Fires 15 trailer. I'm showing you images of that right now to sound excited and to to just not be sad that it was just such a not great event. No shade to all the other games that were on it, but yeah. But anyways, that's it. Um, I don't even have I don't even know what's going on this week. I'm tired, y'all. It was a it was a wild weekend.